More of the twists and turns, endless twists and turns in the Brexit story. A cabinet meeting is scheduled for today. What's on the agenda? What are some of the risks? Well, things never seem to get any easier for Theresa May. I mean, this is just days after we saw the fallout uh, from last week's summit in Salzburg, where there were discussions about uh, the EU and the UK hitting an impasse in Brexit negotiations. Um, now, Theresa May is going to convene a cabinet meeting today amid fresh challenges. So the Institute of Economic Affairs is uh, due to publish a Brexit blueprint outlining a harder Brexit. Um, specifically, it's, it's going to promote the idea of a Canada-style trade deal, which is uh, a deal that is mostly tariff-free, but is not based on the single market and is much less broad than uh, Theresa May's Checkers plan. Um, former Ministers David Davis and Boris Johnson are expected to get behind this proposal. The Daily Telegraph is also reporting that a majority of May's cabinet uh, is also rallying behind this idea of a Canada-style agreement. And so I guess the question is, when Theresa May gathers her cabinet today, are we going to see her ministers rally around her or are they going to rally against her? Yeah, and of course, it's interesting that they seem to want to coagulate around this Canada-style deal, and yet they, they bannered this radical departure for themselves. Is the Canada deal really that radical? Talk to me about, of course, the nomination to the Supreme Court by the President of the United States. We're talking about Mr. Kavanaugh. It would appear that a second woman is making sexual misconduct claims against Kavanaugh. Yes, that is indeed correct. So this is a story that continues to develop, to develop quite rapidly. So the New Yorker has reported that there's now a second woman. Her, she goes by the name of Deborah Ramirez, and she went to Yale with Brett Kavanaugh um, and is alleging that during their years together at Yale, um, he carried out sexual misconduct. He exposed himself to her during a college party. Um, and there's also talk about there possibly being a third woman out there in the mix with credible allegations against Kavanaugh. So what this really brings into question is whether or not a hearing this week will go ahead for us to hear from the first woman, Christine Blasey Ford.